Hello everyone, this is the Time Bunny and this is the Naked Goth Tag. Now for those of you that were tuned in to hope to see me in the nude, I'm sorry to disappoint you, <laughs> but that is not what this is about. Now this was a bit of a um, thing started up a couple of months ago by a fellow YouTuber, the Kilted Goth, and he pretty much challenged us of these all like goth or whatever other else persuasion to basically you just strip off everything about you that makes you goth so i will read like the rules as it were from the old um, youtube um description here basically what it is is this I challenge all goths to look inwards and find out what in you actually makes you goth. Uh, what makes you tick without all the goth trappings? Are you less goth without them? Here's the tag. Remove everything goth about you. Wear everyday normal clothes, no black, no goth, no makeup, no goth hair, wear a hat if you have to, no goth trinkets, music, no goth anything. Strip yourself naked of goth, now you are naked. Without the trappings, what makes you an individual goth? So, that's basically the rules, as it were. So, well, if you want to call them rules, you know, you know what I mean. So basically, it's like, well, my hair I couldn't really do anything about, so, but to be fair, when it's like this, it doesn't look too gothy, it's just like a graduated bob, so. But I haven't dyed it yet, I haven't got like the back spiked up or anything like that like I sometimes do. I've removed all my piercings. So in case of any of you don't know how well that shows up. The only piercing I haven't taken out is my tongue and my belly button, but that's only because, you know, just due to reasons they can like heal up really quickly and I'm a bit worried that if I take them out, that's gonna be it sort of thing. But clothes wise, I'm wearing, well, I think this counts because it's like not black, it's brown. And it's like nerdy wrestling t-shirt and trousers, just a pair of blue denim jeans there. So it all counts, it's not black. <laughs> and I've, well, I've kind of covered up my tattoos, but unfortunately due to the size of it, it's a bit difficult. So, but I suppose tattoos are not really exactly exclusive to like goth or the alternative scenes anymore really so that probably doesn't count so it's fine so right i've just realized a part of my um, um pajamas is just in the corner there sorry about that guys i've literally just noticed that so right so what makes me goth without all the shenanigans as it were well um this is like a tough one. It's been one I've been thinking about for a while now because it's like, you know, what does make me goth, you know? Just, it's, like, it's one of those questions I've been kind of pondering for a while, so. You know, so. I think it's like I've always known from quite a young age or somewhere in the past, as it were, that I was a bit different to everybody else, you know? I think whilst like all the other girls at school were too busy sort of like sort of like off chasing boys and having sex at the age of 12 and smoking and shit like that I was more content to just stay at home and sort of like play on video games and sort of like just watch WWE wrestling and things like that you know I was way more at home doing stuff like that so I, I some people might argue oh that's rather that's being more tomboyish rather than goth but i think that's probably kind of where it started if that makes sense like being like sort of not being into all the other stuff that other girls were doing you know so but that's cool because there was like sort of like girls at school that i made friends with who didn't think that was really odd you know? <laughs> so that's fine but again, it was like, it, but I was always into sort of like kind of like weird stuff, if that makes sense, sort of growing up. I don't want to get into all the stereotypical things like, oh, you know, I was like reading like horror books and watching horror movies and shit like that because it's, believe it or not, I'm not really into horror movies. 
Some people might think that's a bit weird when they look at me and think, oh, but you're like, you're alternative, you're goth, you're etc, etc, but you don't like horror stuff. And it's like, I don't know, it's just, I'm, I'm not into that. So I think I've already broken that stereotype, but, but it's just, I do sort of like, as I said, appreciate weird things, dark things, just... You know, and I've always been into that kind of stuff that people generally not be into. As I said, gave with the example of when I sort of like growing up, sort of being at school and that, like all the girls were off doing what they were doing, and I was a bit like just like, nah, you know, why would you even be wasting your time doing that? You know, sort of like, all right, skin was more. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, the camera was just on me. But yeah. I think it's just, it's like, yeah, I mean, I probably did like some of the sort of like stereotypical, you know, goth things, like, you know, I like sort of like, sort of like, I like black, you know, I like sort of like weird and wacky fiction and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's, uh, there are things that people might say like, oh, you know, that's stere stereotypically like goth, as it were. So it's like, I'm not going to deny, I do have those bits of me, you know. And I do appreciate like the look and like with the piercings and you see people with like the elaborate hairdos and makeup, you know. People for example like pre it's Black Friday who's a YouTuber on here, you know, she just has all this fantastic, you know, black hair all sort of over the place and like the really elaborate makeup and lovely dresses and stuff like that, you know. And she looks brilliant, don't get me wrong, you know, but it's just I don't think I've got the time or the patience to do that kind of thing. <laughs> Plus, I think if I tried to do that, I just don't think it would suit me, you know? You know, there are the goths out there who can do the really elaborate look and look brilliant, but it's not all about, you know, the look, you know, if that makes sense. It's like a, it's like a thing inside. It's sort of like the whole, you know, knowing you're not the same as everybody else and having that sort of like weirdness if that makes sense, you know. You know, ha sort of having the look and, you know, being into like the goth music and the sort of gothic horror movies, that kind of stuff, that's cool, you know. If that's how you like doing things, that's completely fine. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, that makes you any less of a goth or any more of a goth or, you know, whatever. But there, you know, there are those few people out there who are guilty of literally just being superficial about it. And they think like, Oh, because I dress a certain way or I do certain things that makes me like a, a true goth you know we live things the one true way as it were and I think that's fucking bullshit you know it's not just about whether you've got the sort of like most makeup on or the biggest hair or the prettiest dress or suit or whatever you know if that's literally all you're doing it for it just seems a bit superficial you know I mean yeah I, I admit I don't dress up sort of like goth alternative whatever every single day mainly because it's not practical you know i work 30 hours a week in retail and you know i'm expected to wear a work uniform which is like just right i'll show you it is basically like a blue sort of like polo neck top as it were yeah I won't show off the name too much in case they get weird but you know blue polo neck and basically sort of black combats that's my work keys for you so well, I suppose I get to wear a bit of black in the uniform so it's not all bad but you know that is basically my uniform you know it's kind of you know I kind of have to dress like that you know well if I want to keep my job I have to wear it you know but for me it's like you know don't bother me I kind of like I suppose in a way I conform a little bit because I think, well, you know, I'm getting paid for it, so I kind of just deal with it. But the nice thing is, with the job I'm in, they actually don't mind me having sort of like my piercings in or like my big tattoo on show, stuff like that. You know, they're quite, I suppose where I'm working now, they're quite relaxed about that kind of thing. And, you know, I've even gone into like work with sort of like, sort of like raspberry pink hair before now. It's kind of like a, I don't know. It was kind of like, if you see the pink on this, that darker pink, it was that kind of colour. And, you know, they were totally fine about it, you know, they were just like, ah, oh, cool, you know. So I think it was like, 
it was like a colour that was bright enough to be sort of wacky but not enough that it might potentially upset people sort of thing, you know, if they were going to get funny about it. So it's like I'm lucky in that they are sort of relaxed so I can sort of like have a bit of the sort of real me showing through if that makes sense. So, but you know, for me, if I had to label my, you know, look, I would say I'm more sort of like casual goth, you know, I suppose, you know, yeah, I wear black, but it'll be more like sort of black jeans and I'll have then a black wrestling top or band top on and then like usually like some sort of black hoodie of some description, you know, because I have like a plain black hoodie and then I have like a an Assassin's Creed one that has like the logo on the back, you know, things like that, so. And then I have my sort of more, sort of like what I call my sort of like cyber goth slash cyberpunk stuff, so I've got like, I've got like the goggles and the hair, sort of, sort of extension dread things and sort of like bright pink cyber dog t-shirts and stuff like that, you know, so. I don't dress in black all the time, you know, I'm probably more of a mixture of, you know, goth, um, cyber, a bit of punk, you know, I'm probably a hippie, that's definitely in there, so I said, if I, that's probably what my style would be if I was to describe it, but as I said, that's not what it's all about for me completely, it's like, yeah, the look is good, everyone has their own good, whether it's like cyber or traditional goth or, you know, casual goth, you know, Victorian goth, burlesque, cyberpunk, swimming poodle off, you know, whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know, whatever your style is, you know, it's just, it's cool, but just, guys, try and remember, it's not all about the look and being more goth than thou, you know, because, you know, the few people that act like that, you know, that do act really stuck up and very like, oh, you don't dress a certain way so you're not goth, it's like, you just make yourself look like a bit of a twat, to be honest, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd say probably a good majority of the sort of goths and alternative people I have met have all been really lovely. And, you know, they don't have this sort of like, sort of like more goth than thou attitude. You know, they appreciate that everyone has a different, you know, lifestyle, things like that. You know, like myself, you know, I work, I have kiddo, I have, you know, sort of boisterous dogs, things like that. So wearing like a £400 elaborate goth dress is just not for my lifestyle as much as I'd love to dress like that every day and just be like have like an elaborate sort of like Victorian burlesque goth looking like look going on you know it's just it would get ripped to shreds in about two seconds with my dogs because I got two extremely boisterous springer spaniels you know <laughs> anyone who's got springers will know what they're like they're just constantly like you know sort of like excited like 24 7 just dashing around the place you know I swear they're just miniature Dalmatians or something, you know, because they're just completely hyper all the time, you know. So for me, it's just not practical, and it's like, I don't give a shit if I don't look outwardly very goth, because I think it's in here, you know. I know that I'm a goth, you know. It's just, I don't care if it's not outwardly obvious, you know. You know, it, it's in here, I carry it with me all the time. I sort of like, you know, I may not be able to sort of like dress weird all the time, but I can be sort of like, sort of inwardly, sort of personality wise, like weird all the time. And I'm probably not making any sense and I'm probably not being very uh, eloquent about it, but it is just one of those things that's really hard to explain. For me, it is like a sort of just like a, like an inward thing, you know. I embrace my weirdness, my wackiness, and my general what the fuckness, you know? <laughs> so, and any time I get to express that outwardly with either like having like brightly hair or having my tattoos on show, you know, and having my piercings in, it's like, it's nice because then I can outwardly say, look at me darling, so you know, I'm fabulous. But you know, I'm probably talking out of crap now, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, I think it is just a case of, in summary, I think I've just always known that I've I'm a bit odd, a bit weird, you know, and just generally looks like what the frickin' heck, but I think that's what is part of what makes me a goth, you know, it's the 
embracing the inner weirdness and not worrying about whether or not you get to sort of dress up or elaborate or not you know you know I wear me black you know I wear me piercings and that's just my way of expressing it you know I think it is partly because I'm too freaking lazy to do anything more elaborate to be honest I admit it it's like I always joke to my girlfriend I would be a slut but I'm too bloody lazy you know it's just like that involves an effort and it's nah sod there you know but I suppose in a way you know I get to be more elaborate for my photo shoots you know I get to wear like my more sort of like gothy stuff and like my wigs and everything else for that so that's more my my more elaborate gothy moments you know when I get to do all that you know so but yeah I'd say that's pretty about it you know it's like what makes me goth because I is weird bro in it <laughs> so uh, I've just gone really chav and now I'm probably gonna get slapped by my girlfriend when she watches this but you know but yes yeah, I'm gonna go with that that's what I'm gonna say you know it's more for me an inward thing you know it's like yes I might do some stereotypically go like goth things others not so much you know but it is more about what's sort of like in here and what's in there, you know. It doesn't have to be about the looks all the time. So, but yeah, for those of you that are maybe sort of like perhaps experimenting, maybe you're sort of like sort of like a youngster, teen, whatever, growing up, or maybe you're sort of like an older person. I say older person, but someone who might be considered like you know you get some people who might go oh you're too old to be a goth you know i mean i'm nearly 36 <laughs> so i suppose some people might out there might say that i'm probably more an elder goth but yeah i'm cool with that you know i'd say so yeah anyone who's like sort of like considers themselves like goth but feels a bit like intimidated about you know dressing the part or thinking Oh, you know I can't afford to sort of pay out like three four hundred pounds on a dress or a pair of boots things like that don't worry you know it's not all about the looks as I said you know my way of dressing goth is literally just black jeans and then black t-shirts of some description whether it's a plain black one or whether it be like a wrestling related one a video game related band related anything like that you know that's kind of how i dress and black hoodies you know they're all sort of things that are readily available just everywhere you know from probably like you know from primark right on to sort of like basically amazon and ebay things like that you know if you look around you can find things really cheap you know i know some people are probably going to say to me like oh primark you know just you know they have really shoddy standards with like workers you know it's fair enough but they they were just an example but you know but yeah there's, there's so many places you look around you can find things that are goth or you can make goth alternative but with a bit of customizing even like charity shops charity shops are your friend because you'd be really surprised what can turn up there but even going there and finding like a pair of black boots or black trainers or you know jeans or trousers dresses tops you know there's all these things that you can get in black or you know other dark colors you may want to incorporate whether it be like purple or you know whatever else you happen to be in you know you can combine it with all these things and you can get sort of like sort of like maybe like costume jewelry you know sort of Again, like charity shops, even Claire's accessories can have some really cool, like, you know, costume jewellery and bits and pieces that you can incorporate in. So you don't have to f spend a bloody fortune to sort of like get the look. As I said, you know, go on the high street to whichever stores you wish to go to, whether it be Primark, H&M, you know, Topshop, wherever, you know, whatever your, your wage bracket can fit in. And there's like charity shops, there's like, Claire's accessories places like that it's just a case of you know keeping an eye out you know and you can build up something look on the internet you know I you know some of the stuff I've bought on Amazon you know I've used it sort of like for you know sort of my alternative wardrobe so yes remember it's not all about the look 
but the look can be achieved cheaply so you don't have to worry about that to be fair the amount of my stuff that's from charity shops is insane but yeah that's a little bit of advice i would give to people don't necessarily worry about the look because it's not necessarily all about that i'm probably proof you know you've probably watched my videos and probably looked at me and thought you know oh she doesn't look necessarily like massively alternative you know but it's just that's the way i decided to do it you know so it's not all about the makeup the hair and the dresses you know so don't worry but there are ways of doing it cheap if you want to do the look so embrace your weirdness however you choose to do it yeah that's what i'd say but yes i'm going to end it here and thank you for putting up with my ramblings i hope you enjoy this and thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon